right. Hey, everybody. I'm finally seeing some people join in. Starting to see some hearts now. It is very loud. I apologize. <laughs> Maybe don't have the headphones in today. This will slow down and stop here eventually. But this is Brittany at Big Cat Rescue here in Tampa, Florida. And it is moving cat day. So Jordan and several volunteers and interns are out here at Funcation. They are currently weed whacking and mowing on the outer edge of Funcation. Super loud, so. <laughs> but don't worry, it'll stop because we are going to be moving Jinx Black Leopard home. And we're gonna go find him real quick. And it should be quieter back there. It's a very, very busy day today. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, whoa, the whole thing came down. Not want to stay. No. There we go. All right. So let's head back here. It'll be a little more quiet. This is where Carol is right now. Carol's the one that's going to help us move cats today. I will probably only be able to show you Jinx going home, and then it's a full day of mowing and weed eating. And then Manny Jaguar will either go in by the end of the day, hi, <laughs> or probably tomorrow. Are you being the best boy back here? Oh, good. You making sure Carol's doing her job? Good for you. So this is Jinx. I know it was super loud where I started this up, but as soon as we go to move him home, they will stop all the weed whacking and mowing for a little bit and then they'll get this cage all ready for the next participant, which is going to be Manny. Just swooning all across the internet. Yes. He That's is definitely a favorite. <laughs> You're definitely a favorite. Now we can hear ourselves think. So for anyone who's brand new and has never watched one of our lives on moving day, usually every two weeks to once a month, we rotate our cats to two different enclosures. Funcation, which is a 22,000 square foot enclosure, which is where Jinx is. He has just wrapped up his full month. And then we have a two and a half acre vacation rotation, which is where Kimba is. I don't know if Kimba will be moving today. I know it was getting so close yesterday. Yeah. Getting that cage done, and then I pulled him for something else. Oh. I don't know if he managed to. <laughs> yeah, I noticed that the the opening is still on the side of the cage, so they're definitely not moving him to that portion of it, at least. <laughs> But yeah, Kimba's still out there. He is in the roof section, so you might not be seeing him on the Explore camera at the moment. Look how sneaky you are. Only that tail gives yep. me away. <laughs> but the plan is when Kimba does finally go home from his very extended vacation, then it'll be Aria Tiger's turn. Good camouflage, sir. She can't see me. I'm hiding behind this palm frond. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's really cute from the other side. <laughs> that's very cute from the other side. Do you think she has your breakfast? Because she doesn't. That'll 
will be Lauren. So for anyone interested in what Carol's doing, <laughs> Carol is um, holding the safety pole in place to make sure that there's no way that Jinx could possibly lift this door while they are Afton and Aaron and Lauren are on the opposite end of the enclosure right now putting together a tunnel that actually leads Jinx directly home. So he doesn't have far to travel but it is kind of fun to watch him run across Funcation in his elder age. It's so cute. His little Buddha belly. <laughs> He's 22 years old. It might seem like absolutely ridiculous to think that the cats could open this cage and fit in the door because they have to lift it up, but we've seen, like, was it Caesar that pulled on the rope? Yep, yep, mm-hmm. Bobcats team up to pull on the rope? Yep, <laughs> <laughs> yep, you can't underestimate them, that's for sure. Way too smart. Yeah, Hoover doing that with the transport crate, that was intense. That actually gave me a weird nightmare, like, a few days later, <laughs> like, where I saw him walking down the tour path and was like, oh my god, <laughs> like, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> So, lots of safety measures in place for sure. I think it's almost your turn. Yeah. Almost your turn. Yeah. The safety entrance is to what? I haven't opened the store yet. I'm still waiting here. Once they tell me it's ready, then I gotta go check everything on that side. I can't get it from the back side here. Going along the wall. Okay, well, I'll have to do that then. I just didn't realize I wasn't going to be able to get there from here. I wonder what Cyrus is doing. Usually Cyrus is yelling at us from across the way. Oh, he's in the far back corner, probably because of all of the weed whacking. <laughs> That's my guess. Where'd you go, Sneaky? Boy. Oh, that's very nice of you. You guys can really see when he's actually in the sunlight. He's more of like this deep chocolatey brown color and he's got black spots on him. During one of his medical procedures, we had to do a little shave patch on him and it was really cool to see his spots actually on his skin. Your help is not needed. Well, here you go, guys. Great example. If Carol wasn't here watching, he might actually have that pole. <laughs> that was very sneaky of you. Sorry, I missed who donated. Yes. I sent Aaron a really terrible uh, Siri um, screw up earlier. <laughs> she does not understand the word funcation. <laughs> All right, so Carol has a checklist that she has to go walk um, Jinx's home enclosure, and she's also going to check the um, tunnel that they just put together and make sure that everything is the way it needs to be. Sure. Yeah, I can do that. Okay. Yeah, I'll watch him. <laughs> All right, guys, we're holding the pole <laughs> until somebody else comes over. So there's a lot of extra steps on moving cat day and we really take our time and we really make sure that, um, you know, all of our safety precautions are followed and in place. And now he's going to stop Carol for a minute.
So a lot of people ask and want to know why we move the cats um, through these vacation rotations and that's really just for extra um, enrichment for the cats. You know, these cats unfortunately can never go free. They were born and raised in cages by people and they're never going to be able to um, live in their natural habitat. And so while we try to give, you know, as much space as possible and as natural and beautiful of enclosures as possible, cats still get bored in captivity. So we do kind of uh, move them around and let them have new spaces, new toys. Aaron's the new pole holder. <laughs> Well, and it was funny because Carol just explained to everybody on the live why we do the pole situation and like within minutes he stood up and tried to pull on the pole. So I was like, great example. So, yep. <laughs> awesome. So, um, Carol's checking all the locks on his cage. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And yeah, now he's just decided he's going to eat his palmetto. Don't do that. You have expensive dental work. Yeah, <laughs> he's being creepy. You ready to eat? Yeah, he heard, he heard the word eat. <laughs> now he's ready. But you do have to go that way. Hi, oh. honey. That's very nice. I'm gonna have to go the long way. And you have to actually do it and don't just be creepy. <laughs> you have to walk. Look at your stuff in the sun. Oh no, isn't he so pretty? It's ridiculous. You're ridiculous how handsome you are. So yeah, we're just hanging with Jinx. Jinx will go home, then there will be a lot of um, mowing and weed whacking and raking and checking things like the platforms and the dens and making sure it's 100% because then our other most scary cat on property will be coming out. That'll be Manny Jaguar and you guys can watch them live 24 seven um, on their explore camera for Funcation. Oh, thank you Beth for the donation. And you can find those cameras at bigcatcams.com. Same thing with Kimba. I do not know if Kimba will come home today because the cage is not ready, but I think they're working on it now. So if that happens late in the day, um, they may not move Aria out until maybe tomorrow because that enclosure also needs mowed, weed whacked. I know Kimba destroyed part of his platform, <laughs> which is like a thing he really likes to do. <laughs> so there's gonna be a lot of work out in vacation. And so that either may happen later today or tomorrow possibly, but uh, there's a good chance I won't be going live for that because the last time Kimba moved, he didn't, he wouldn't participate at all until all of us left. So I, I there wasn't much to see really. So, uh, but we'll definitely check in with him when he goes home. Um, so probably next week I'll show you guys all the changes they made on his enclosure. And he has cameras or his up. I don't know if his are live yet, but he has at least one that's definitely been installed. He's so patient. Yep, so moving cat day is a lot of projects, a lot of hard work, and a lot of moving on cat time, so <laughs> it can leak into the days following. <laughs> right, Jinx? You're gonna be a good boy and go right home though, aren't you? Oh yeah, Kimba's is live. Is Kimba? Okay, cool. So when he gets home, there's an additional camera for Kimba's enclosure. And it's right near um, a platform that he really, really likes, so hopefully he'll be hanging out in front of it a lot. Bye. <laughs> I know, I really thought Cyrus would be over here like hollering at us, but I think all the weed whacking like had him, because he's literally in the 
farthest away corner of his enclosure. Let's go see Cyrus while we wait. But yeah, thank you guys very much for sharing. Thank you to the two people that have donated so far. Didn't get to do like a traditional walkabout today, but I'm sure that you will get some over the weekend from the Sardones. And I know that Howard is gonna go live on our Facebook page this Saturday at uh, 4 p.m. to talk to you guys about the Big, Big Cat Public Safety Act. So, hi, cute boy. Yeah, so Jinx is going to his home enclosure but we have to check all of the safety measures first. Yeah, so that's what Carol's doing. Yeah, I only see about 180 of you guys watching at the moment, but I am seeing comments and I am seeing um, donations. So thank you guys. Just make sure you guys share this to alert other people that we are live. Yeah. Oh my word. Oh my word. Are you ready for that scary manny to come over here? All right. I heard an okay Aaron, which means Aaron will be able to remove the pole and lift the door. And then the hopes is that Jinx will take off running and go home. <laughs> Oh, are they off Saturday? See, and I'm not here on Sunday. So unfortunately you guys are not gonna get many lives from us, but you're definitely getting one from Howard, which I think will be awesome. So make sure you guys tune in. All right, sir. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Or do we need a bucket? Let's go, sir. Good job, buddy. Oh, he's like, can I go this way? <laughs> this way, Bob. You can't go that way. We didn't put this tunnel together. Good job. Good job. Good job, sir. We're running. Oh, man. Oh man, he's gonna go to lockout. <laughs> he totally thinks we have a food and we don't. Over there. There go. Come on, this way. We're not feeding you there, Bub Bub. Good job. Come on, buddy. There you go, straight across. Nope, come on. <laughs> he's like out of my tunnel. There we go. Good job, bud. Yeah, he went home with with vigor today. That was awesome. Good. He's so cute. Zoom, zoom, zooms. Zoom, zoom, zooms. Here. I, for some reason, he thinks the stabilizer is what's going to give him food. Come in. Jinxy. Jinx, jinx. Come on, bud. There go. There go. Hi. All right, I promise they have your food over there. All right, everybody. Yeah. Jinx, Jinx, come on, Lauren's got the good stuff. All right, well, we're gonna let Jinx enjoy his breakfast because we know he's been eating a little too fast lately. <laughs> So we don't want to crowd him, <laughs> but he's showing you an awesome example of how big his enclosure is because he has all of that space. Everything he just ran through is all jinxy. So now we just have to take back down the tunnel. It all folds up. So this will... Oh, actually we're leaving this, right? Because Manny would be going... Oh, there we go. Yep, that makes sense. So the next cat that's gonna go is this sketchy boy, Mr. Manny. So Manny is gonna get 
um, to go out for a month and you'll be able to watch that at bigcatcams.com and find the Funcation camera. Right now he's watching everybody who's been doing the projects. Oh, I hear the mower coming, so they're about to start all the mowers. There's Victor. Victor's going to be mowing Funcation. Our project team that you see all spread out is going to be doing all of the raking and weed whacking. And then we will be putting together this portion of the tunnel that you see right here. And that's where Manny will be able to walk himself out there. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and close this down and give everybody the chance to get started so that we can move this gorgeous man. And like I said, I might not be live for those moves later today if they happen. So just keep your eye on all of our cameras at bigcatcams.com. If you came in late, you can rewatch this at dailybigcat.com. All right, thank you guys. Have a great weekend, everybody.